Hi guys, it's me, Tiffany Tumbles, transgender YouTube sensation. Welcome to my world. Every week I upload new beauty and makeup tutorials. Come get ready with me. So I'm going to go in with the color Snowflake from my Winter Rose palette using a Flaunt 325 brush. Smoke it out. You want to just kind of zhuzh it? That looks bomb. It's major. I'm vibing it. I'm obsessed. It's literally snatched. Love, love, love. Yes. Okay. I'm not living for it. Oh my god. I think I glued my eye shut. Fuck. But I'm not just a pretty face. I also share plenty of opinions about controversial social and political issues. Even though I'm trans, I refuse to be a victim because I prefer to take control of my own life, which is why I support our president, Donald J. Trump. Make traps gay again. Bye. Jackie Jackson, host of the Freedom Report, where I'm sorry, why does my studio look like a Japanese drag queen redecorated in Italian bordello? It's it's hard to move past it. Anyway, tonight my guests are two transgender YouTubers from opposite ends of the political spectrum, but I've brought them here together to engage in a rational, free-thinking debate about a timeless question. Are traps gay? My first guest is Adria Finley, host of the popular YouTube series Intersectional AF. Clarence? Hey YouTube, it's your girl Adria. Have you ever considered that transphobia is racist? Okay, my other guest is returning to the show. It's Tiffany Tumbles. Now Tiffany, you've had a major change of heart since the last time you were on this program, isn't that right? That's right, Jackie. It's pretty embarrassing, but I used to be a non-binary SJW. You poor thing. Could you say a little bit about how you came to take the red pill? Well, I posted a couple tweets about how there are only two genders and how I was tired of trendy teens who don't experience dysphoria calling themselves trans. And next thing I know, everyone's calling me a turf and a traitor. So I said, you know what? I'm out. I'm not gonna put up with this culture of silencing and shame. I think that's just so brave of you. Yeah, wow, so brave of you to come on talk shows to discuss how silenced you are. Shut up, Adria. I had just come out as trans and I was putting myself out there online and then like that, the trans community dropped me like a piece of trash and I had no support, nothing. I was absolutely alone. Do you have any idea what that felt like? Your leftist allies are not your friends, Adria. One wrong move and you're dead to them. Those are not friends. Well, you have real friends now, Tiffany. I think you're gonna fit right in with this new group of dangerous intellectuals who are finally taking a stand against the authoritarian left and speaking out against politically correct dogma. Why don't we go ahead and roll a clip of one of Tiffany's newest videos? So I'm gonna go in with a highlighter, pop it on my cheeks, pop it on my brow till I'm literally blinding. I am glowing. Mm, she's doing all right, but I'm not living for it. You know what else I'm not living for? The Muslims. Tiffany, you are so funny. I'm sorry, are we just gonna ignore the blatant racism? How is that racist? Muslims are religion, not a race. Yeah, Adria, Muslims are religion, not a race. Well, in this country, Islam and race are inextricably tied together. You can't just, well, you both know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's try to get back on track here. So, Adria, traps, are they gay? Look, there's so many things wrong with the question that the only way to answer it is to deconstruct it. First of all, what are traps? Are they trans women? Because if you're calling trans women traps, then you're directly playing into the lie that trans women are tricking or trapping men. A lie that reinforces the mentality that causes men to murder us. Well, I don't think trap is necessarily a trans woman. What about anime? Okay, so the word trap was invented by English speaking anime fans. The Japanese word is otokonoko, which just means a male crossdresser. There's no implication of tricking men. 
but the word trap is sometimes used in English as a slur against trans women. So when you tell us that's not what it means, you're gaslighting the shit out of us because we've all heard it used as a slur. Adria, you don't get to speak for all trans women. We're not all offended all the time. I actually happen to identify as a trap. Yeah, Adria, she identifies as a trap. Well, she's in the sunken place. And Tiffany, that's pretty reckless. Doesn't it bother you at all that if some guy murders you, his defense is gonna be, well, she was a trap, I was tricked. And you'll have contributed to that way of thinking. Well, what do you care, Adria? No one's gonna be trapped by you anyway. Woo! Spicy. The fuck did you just say? I said, no shade, but you don't really look like a woman. Jackie, are you gonna allow your guest to talk to me like this? Well, Tiffany, you could stand to be a little nicer. Look, dragging bitches is what I do. Facts over feels, hunty. Well, Adria, don't you think she has a bit of a point? Like, if you want to be taken seriously, you could put a little more effort in. I mean, what is this, a men's shirt? How are you going to attract men with that? I'm not trying to attract men. I'm a lesbian. I'm sorry, maybe this is a stupid question, but how can you be a trans woman and a lesbian? Well, I'm a woman and I like women. I don't know about that. Sounds debatable. I'm sorry. I didn't realize when I agreed to do this show that I was signing up for the transphobia special. Transphobia? Well, Adria, I think that's very unfair. I mean, I've invited two trans women to be on my program, and I'll have you know that one of my best friends happens to be a gay man. And what? could be transphobic about that. See, Adria, you're the reason why everyone hates trans people. You're obnoxious and offended by everything, and everyone feels like they have to tread on eggshells around you. Thank you, Tiffany. See, you're one of the good ones. You're a good tran. Is this what you want to do with your life, Tiffany? Be the lapdog of people like this? No. I want to actually work toward the acceptance of trans people by being patient and agreeable and by looking the part and not by screeching transphobia at everyone who doesn't meet your impossible standard of wokeness. And you're going to do that by identifying as a trap, huh? Just keep reinforcing and excusing bigotry until it magically goes away. Well, does it occur to you, Tiffany, that you're not gaining acceptance for anyone but yourself and the only reason you're accepted is that you don't challenge the status quo? I'm sorry. I need to interrupt this exchange of ideas because I feel like we're just getting hung up on terminology. Look, Adria, if you don't like the word trap, we just won't use the word trap. The real question is, is it gay to be attracted to trans women? It is if you're a woman. No, I mean for men. Like, Tiffany, do you date straight men or gay men? Well, all the men I've dated only date women, but if they're attracted to me... I mean, it's not the straightest thing, is it? Why not? You look like a woman, and I know that you know that gay men are not attracted to these tits. Well, I am serving up fishy realness, so granted. Well, doesn't she have a point though, Adria? I mean, sure, she looks like a woman, but she does have XY chromosomes. When was the last time you were attracted to a person's chromosomes? That's not how sexuality works. We're attracted to a person's perceptible features, not molecular biology. Okay, sure, but I mean, a lot of trans women still have their penis, and you gotta admit, that seems kinda gay. Jackie, you really have no clue what you're doing, do you? We live in a world where there's no shortage of men who want to date trans women, but there's an intense stigma on dating trans women. And it's actually dangerous, because what happens is if a man's friends find out that the woman he's dating is trans, he may try to preserve his toxic masculine dignity by lashing out violently against the trans woman he's dating. And this happens again and again. And every time you suggest that dating a trans woman is gay, you're adding to that stigma, and you're making the world a more dangerous and violent place for trans women. All right, I'm not trying to use violent words or whatever. I just don't understand how a person who's attracted to women could be attracted to a person with a penis. Well, if you want to know, I'll tell you. I am a lesbian. I'm only attracted to women, including trans women. And when I'm attracted to a trans woman, I perceive her as a woman. And if she has a penis, I perceive it not in isolation, but as a part of her female body. So I perceive it not as a male penis, but as a girl dick. I'm sorry, what? What is girl dick? The feminine penis. Oh no. Oh, come on. This is nonsense. How could a penis possibly be feminine? Well, it's feminine because it's on a woman, but also because hormones actually change the anatomy and functionality of the penis. <sighs> shut up, Adria. Just shut up. Wait, really? How is it different? Well, I'm glad you asked. More needs to be said about the feminine penis. Why is no one talking about the feminine penis? Kill me now. So to start with, it doesn't get as hard, it doesn't really ejaculate, and it has a different mouthfeel. Can we please talk about the mouthfeel? Why is no one talking about the mouthfeel? <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. You are attracted to women with dicks, but not to men. That's correct. I don't like man dick. It's coarse and rough and 
irritating and it comes everywhere. Not like Girl Dick. Girl Dick is everything soft and smooth. Ugh, what, what is that? Star Wars? Ugh. Do you also build computers for a living? I mean, guilty. I also enjoy wearing knee socks. <laughs> And let me guess, your girlfriend is a communist cat girl. My sweet love. Wait, you're dating that crazy Antifa cat? Well, we're in the same polycule. I don't know what that means. And I'm not like prejudiced or anything, but I'm just not sold on this idea of trans lesbianism. Like if you're born male and you're attracted to women, how is it not just heterosexuality? Well, my girlfriend is also trans. So if you follow your logic to its conclusion. Okay, so. You're a woman who was born a man, and you like women, but you're dating a woman. A so woman who has a penis. You are that's a, a female woman. penis that you used to be a male penis. penis. So and you're attracted so you're a woman, to women, but you were dating born a man, who and you're attracted has to a women, penis, but that used to be a male penis. You're dating a female penis. has a penis. So that means you are gay, but you're gay in the opposite way as the kind of gay that you were I born I can go over it with you again after the show if you need some extra time to figure it out. Why am I constantly surrounded by homosexuals? Adria, just stop talking. Look, I don't care what you do in private, but I'm sorry to break it to you. The world is not ready to hear about trans lesbianism. What trans people need right now is people like you to keep a low profile and people like me to be our representatives. Because I act like a normal woman and I date normal men and I don't have a cat girl girlfriend with a girl dick, ugh. Also, I look fucking gorgeous. I'm sorry, but that matters. Well, you look just fine, but let's not get arrogant, sweetheart. You're not Blair White. Well, I haven't saved the money to have work done, so that's not a fair comparison. What work are you having done? I'm gonna lower my hairline, shave some bone off my jaw, reshape my brow, get some lip injections, maybe Botox my forehead. Oh, and I'm gonna fix my nose, obviously. What's wrong with your nose? It's kind of big and mannish. Well, my nose looks kind of like that. Are you saying I look mannish? Are you saying I look ugly? What are you trying to say, Tiffany? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to women? I'm not doing anything to women. What? what? Look, we can't all become hairless sex dolls. That's a terrible thing to say to a trans woman. She has to work really hard to be seen as female and you just don't. Shut the hell up, Adria. Don't get offended for me. Don't condescend to me. I'm not a victim. Okay, so I'm not as young as I used to be, but my fiancé still thinks I'm beautiful. Oh my god. I need to not be around straight people for a long time after this. <sighs> Alright, let's let's forget about it. I'm 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 fine. Tiffany, are you fine? I am fine. To be clear, I'm not fine with any of this. Look, why don't we just edit this whole thing out? Let's shoot the closer and we'll fix it in post. <sighs> Well, we may never know whether traps are gay, but the important thing is that we talked about it. I'm Jackie Jackson for the Freedom Report, where the debate never stops. Your mascara is running. Get out of my studio, both, both of you. Get out. We're done. Hi, Nick. Yeah, I'm finished. Well, it was a shit show. No, Adria was fine. She was cringe as fuck the whole time. Let's have her back. Tiffany was the problem. She kept veering off message and she got emotional. Yeah, don't invite her back. Get Blair next time. And the week after, can we get Kanye West? We can't get Kanye. Get Candace Owens. Oh, and what have you done to my studio? Hey, Adria, look, I'm, I'm sorry I was rude to you back there, okay? It's just that I've been working so hard to win acceptance for trans people, to show everyone that we're normal, that we're just like them. And when you show up looking like that and acting like that, it's, it's just hard for me to watch all my hard work be undone, you know? Like, you, you can't be talking about this, the feminine penis in front of cis people. Tiffany, you need to get far away from me right now for your own physical safety. Ugh, oh my god, you crazy freak!
hate Adria. She looks like a man beast. Society needs to stop enabling these ridiculous delusions. Ah, this hun. People are gonna see this and they're gonna think this is what trans people are. They should not be representing us. They're nothing like me. I'm nothing like them. I need you to relax. It's, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have the work done. I can fix this. It, it's my fault for not working harder. It, you can't just expect society to, to... I'm not a victim. I am in control of my life. I wish I were a woman. <laughs> or anything but this. I'm destroying my body! <laughs> Who could ever love this? <laughs> I'm just mutilating myself! <laughs> it's so disgusting! <laughs> God, I'm so disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating again another drink. I am not a victim. I am in complete control. Must think 
that she was so unique Trying to educate all the free Blissfully unaware of how crude Heard before bigoted and plain rude All the things that you say come up every day There is one thing that I cannot stand And it's you dear head in the sand It's not really